Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So I was going through my phone and I found a Goodwill haul, a collective haul from the end of January, beginning February. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I know we are all patiently waiting to get out to those thrift stores to treasure hunt once again. And I thought this might be something fun and re-inspiring for you. And it just lets you into my home a little bit so that we can all just kind of get through the day a little bit better with something to look forward to. So that being said, I have a collective Goodwill haul for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates house. Today I'm coming at you with a fairly quick Goodwill haul. So this is a combination of several trips. This first part is just going to be something that I'm going to go over with you that I found yesterday. Aside from that, everything is picked up in bits and pieces over the last few weeks. So let's just dive in. Starting off, I found this adorable, so worn looking tin metal art music box. I have shown you guys something like this before, which is this one here. I purchased this one and actually gifted it to Boogie because he really loved it. That was one of his Christmas presents. But this one I found recently at Goodwill for $4.99. That's kind of paying up, but since we are keeping it, I thought $5 was a great purchase price. I love the character in this little old, worn, windmill, barn style piece. Oh, it just draws me in. I really love this piece. The hubby loved it. Boogie loves it. We are definitely into stuff like this. You turn the windmill, I showed you guys on Instagram, you turn the windmill and it plays the music. And it's just this really... I don't want to say haunting, but kind of like kind of like the backdrop of a scary movie. And it's just such a really cool piece. I fell in love with it. Has good energy, don't worry. <laughs> so there's that. I picked that up for $4.99. That's a keeper. And then these I picked up for the hubby because he wants to actually start holding on to some copper pieces. It's a salt and pepper shaker, fairly large. The set of two was $1.99, which I thought was great. Salt and pepper shakers sell for very well when they're in this copper theme. I've sold many pieces that are like this and I love this one. It does have a little nick up on the top, not a nick, but a dent, two dents right here on the top of the pepper, but the Huppie's actually going to knock those out and we're gonna keep these for here at the house. It says two piece, $1.99. And that was a great set. It holds quite a bit. Right now we're using my uh, vintage corning salt and pepper shakers but it's kind of small it doesn't hold too much so we go through a lot of pepper um well i do anyway and the hubby likes a little bit of salt and our friends that come over he loves a lot of salt so yeah we need a bigger shaker so got those for two bucks next is the tupperware this is the only tupperware that i've been collecting for my food storage as far as plastic containers go i only get this white tupperware line it is the tupperware brand it's 79 cents and I don't have that size or shape so I was really happy about that. Next, this fabric tablecloth. Guys, I think this came out to like $1.25 or something like that. This was the yellow tag, 75% off. It is a great size tablecloth. It's two of them and I know a lot of people love this vintage strawberry fabric so this is going to be going up in the Etsy shop. I absolutely love this. I thought this was adorable. I would keep it for myself, but I know I'm not going to do anything with it. So it's definitely going to go into the Etsy shop. I think that is so pretty. Moving on, I found these table uh, placemats. These were also yellow tags, so these came out to like 12 cents a piece. Very vintage looking. I love these. I love this natural color with this trim going around the inside here. They are extremely well sewn. There is not a loose fiber on any one of these. It's so awesome. Look at all that stitching that goes throughout the entire placemat. Like there's nothing that could happen to this. And I've had many types of this natural material placemat or placemats and they unravel, they get they fringe, they they're kind of high maintenance. So to see this, I feel like I could literally just like scrub this with a brush and it would be a-okay. They are so so nice. I love them, 12 cents a piece, not bad at all. The last item from this quick little haul, and then I will do a voiceover for the rest of the goodies, is this 1776 Red Lion Houston pewter plate. Um, it was $1.99, that made it 50 cents on 75% off day. 
And I was kind of debating on this because I've actually seen a, a Stein that has this print on it and I wasn't quite sure what it was. Apparently it was a hotel and this was their line of dishes. I thought that was pretty cool and anything pewter is like forever long lasting. It is such a great piece and I thought maybe the hubby would like it. Kind of, To me it kind of looks like a hubcap. <laughs> anyway, I picked it up to hold on to it. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think this is a really nice piece for 50 cents. So I couldn't let it sit there and just go to the dump. I had to take it and I'm pretty sure somebody would love to match that with their stein. Starting off, I found this really cute two and a quarter cup beaker style measuring glass. It is so fitting for that vintage pharmacy look that I'm going for in my baking station. It reflects the light so nice, which is the exact look that I was going for in the cubbies because I was going for that old time vintage pharmacy style look where the glass kind of reflects the light in the window. It's just a really pretty functional piece that also serves as decor because that for me is very important in my stations around my house. If you're new to the channel, you probably have not seen my baking station. I share a lot of it on Instagram, real time projects and pictures and stuff as I'm creating this space on a very tight budget, like minimal money as in barely any money. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing how I've created that space, what I've used, what I've done and my reasoning behind the entire space, comment down below and let me know and I will try to put together a tour for you guys. I really am not in the stages of creating content for the sake of creating content because I kind of feel like I don't want to waste my time. I have a lot on my plate and I feel like if it's something that's interesting to you guys and you really want to know, then I'll be willing to do the content. If not, I don't want to just chance it and waste that time. So let me know down below and I will get that together for you guys if you're interested. Moving back into the haul, I found these vintage green Tupperware brand measuring cups. It is a full set of super clean measuring cups. I was so excited when I saw these because number one, they are in my color. I have this neutral kind of light shade of green or camo green or those olivey type greens all around my house year round. So for me, this is a definite plus to work into my baking station. It was $2 for the entire set. That made me so very happy because I had seen a few different sets at the store before in like orange and burgundy, but I wasn't feeling it. So I got these for two bucks. Moving on, I have a small growing collection of the Jeanette pie plates. These are absolutely adorable. They have the recipes printed on the base of the plate, which to be honest, I have never followed. I just go by my own recipes and I'm actually experimenting and trying different things in recipes. So I picked these up at $3 a piece. They are so cute and the cherry and the pumpkin pie. I love them. They are nice kind of deep wide rims that hold all your pie together nicely. Moving on, I found this Our Kitchen little wood vintage sign. It looked like something was hanging in the center. All I did was take this little sign and mount it to the side of my baking station and I put a little cast iron teapot trivet in the center. Did a little bit of white paint on it. Nothing too crazy, just something to fun, something to add a little vintage flair on my baking station. Moving on, found this awesome vintage green pot and lid it is a super heavy pot awesome quality i absolutely love this and these pots still sell for very high price not very high but higher than i want to pay that's for sure i absolutely love them and i was so excited because it was four dollars that made me so happy so i did pick that up usually when it comes to pieces that are a few bucks Number one, quality matters. And number two, if I'm going to be keeping it for myself, it's okay to pay asking price and not have to wait for a sale. This is something that I was keeping in my home, so I paid the $4. Moving on is this gorgeous, guys, gorgeous airtight liquid jar. So it's a vintage jar made somewhere else. It is a fantastic size. It's short and wide and it fits perfect on the door of my refrigerator next to my creamer. 
And the reason I love this is because number one, it's super easy to use. Number two, it is airtight. And number three, it holds the perfect amount of yogurt for us to use in our upstairs fridge. I have a huge jar that I put yogurt into and we take it from there and put it into here so it's easier to serve on the daily. Between these two glass jars and a couple of mason jars that we use to put ingredients into and kind of pre-mix some yogurt for the kiddos, we can do up to two gallons of milk for yogurt. That is awesome. And it'll cost us pretty much just the cost of the milk. And this glass jar being three bucks is a definite purchase price for sure. Okay, so moving on, I found this adorable vintage turtle nightlight. He is precious. Every single one of the kids wanted to literally fight for him. They wanted to all get on roll so they could win, and whoever had the highest on roll would win the turtle. Unfortunately, the hubby didn't let anybody have it. He wanted it. So he is just kind of roaming around different spaces of our house. He was $9. That is probably the most I've ever paid for a decor piece, whether in a big box store or a thrift store. And he's so worth it. He can resell for an easy 45 to 55, if not higher, um, price tag on Etsy, but I'm not willing to let him go. We love him. So he's staying here. Moving on, I found this Lazy Susan. It is a vintage Chromex Lazy Susan. It is so pretty in this stainless steel. It is all just silver and it spins very nicely. Super nice quality. I love Chromex brand stuff. There's just something really cool about their, about their vintage metal pieces. Anyway, we've used this several times. It was totally worth the few bucks. Next, I found this gorgeous teapot, and I do believe this is vintage 90s. It is a replica of something from a long time ago. It is a gorgeous pale pink and green and yellow botanical, so springy style print. It's a gorgeous teapot, guys, and I do believe I only paid $1 for this pot. It's fantastic. Now, remember, this is a kind of collective haul of things that I've gotten over a couple of weeks. So the color tags aren't exactly a reflection of the price because some of them were on sale. And I do believe this one was a dollar. It is sitting in my inventory because it will be going to my, into my Etsy shop. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I'm a big teapot fan. I love playing with teapots when it comes to serving hot tea to the family. So I know someone will love something like this, especially with that print. Oh, and correction, it's a 1970s replica, not 1990s replica. Okay, so this one I have grown to absolutely love. In the beginning, when I first found it, I thought it was kind of odd for this metal cover to be on this kind of decorative glass plate. And I didn't think they went together, but I was willing to take it because it was $4. And I was like, well, it's still a nice plate, you know, two piece, $2 a piece, whatever. But as I got home and examined it a little bit more, they definitely go together. So the plate has these inset grooves where the lid sits nice and snug into. The plate is really pretty. It's got a decorative edge that kind of peeks out the base of the top. And the top has a really pretty wood handle on it. And the plate is even footed. It's just a really nice quality piece. And I love the kind of mixed material combination it has going on. For $4, it was a definite purchase price for this piece. And I love having it in my home. And last but definitely not least is this 1976 vintage Mr. Peanut peanut jar. I absolutely love having these in my home. I have several so far ranging from 72 to 89 or something or other like that. And they come in handy so much in my pantry because I love vintage jars in my pantry. I have them all over the place. You can see I have popcorn, sunflower seeds, peanuts, grains, whatever it is that fits in there. I love having them in there. They add a vintage touch with different designs and textures where everything is kind of perfectly imperfect and they just go together so well with the look that I'm going for. And so sad guys, but that is pretty much it for this 
collective goodwill haul oh the times i am just desperately waiting <laughs> to go thrifting once again and we shall go once again that is pretty much it for this goodwill haul guys i do hope that you enjoyed if you did go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you're interested in the baking station video also share this video with anyone that you know that is patiently waiting to get back into our thrift stores and if you're new to the channel, welcome yet again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out, along with the notification bell to be notified of any new videos or content whenever I post. You can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. Also, my Etsy shop is Bates House Shop. Anything on Instagram is hashtag Bates House something. That is pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!